All right, so welcome everyone. Hande owned with us. I'm going to turn on my camera so you can see me. Hey. Hopefully the uh your session I saw that you guys worked on help phrases last week. Um I was in Arizona actually at the Gila River Indian community. Um doing uh my team and I were working on a uh training conference for the past few months since May. And so we finally got to go deliver it. So that's where I was last week. Um, so shout out to uh, Cricket um, for jumping on and being willing to facilitate our session for me. Um, so I saw that you guys worked on help phrases. Um, before we kind of dig in, does anyone have any questions on the help phrases? One questions for tonight. Is that what you're asking? Oh, if they have questions about what we what you all discussed last week from last week. Mm. Um ask Angela and see what she thinks and what she has. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, Hopefully, our uh, we have our new teacher candidates on here. A lot of our newer uh, candidates, so just wanting to see if anyone has any questions before we dig in tonight. No, I feel like our last session was pretty helpful, and I feel like we all got the helping phrases pretty well. Awesome, awesome. All right, we'll keep practicing them, and we'll have uh, chances to use them also. Um, so, um, with that, we'll go ahead and get started and, uh, let's see, I'll ask, uh, Miss Marion, would you be able to open us up, uh, with a prayer, Bedatsai, if we're able to. Uh, hey, doll. In the hall. Hold on. Let me, I, I'm going to make a comment. Oh. Okay. Um Hunday only he go okay. Oi son. Go I hold a dog e Peggy don't Peggy on ta dog e aim dog Ta tie dog I'm don't get a young dog My own day ain't so it's son Go get gone by go they go pay dog they told it not on to town, not key. Ain't a key, go a sandal. Go a tongue, yeah, eight more hang more. Go a tongue, yeah. Go a go a horn, yeah, oi. I get so bad, more hang more. We bought oi, they talk. Hunday bought. More hay more, but we bought put it on. A goy tongue yam, we bought put it on. Yeah, goy tongue yam. Don't yak coot they tapped all gone. Yak on a tall horn, yak on a. Hey, on a key. They were eight. A goy good more hay more gone. Get again. Go, go home on tie, get, get argue. Go, I ain't on the key. Hey, go, and I can't hear me, go, 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 I don't go, get, get, get more, oh, hey, more and get boy they talk oh get peak get home they talk get 
Dag i, då må jag i en dag och be han dig. Jan har jag då. Då tar jag då gott. Då tar jag bilder. Det har det jag om. Jag tar jag om det då. Gå i Google. Det är jag gigul då. Då tar jag då. Gå i kattar jag allt då. Man gör då. Kan då. Det är det här om. Om bilder. Ett sak det då går. Här går det gå om det då. Dag i. Jag har det igen om. Jag har det här. Dag i. Jag har det här. Jag har det här. Jag har det här. Thank you, Miss Marion. Um, let's see. So let me put in the chat box. Um, this is if I can find my chat box, wherever it is. So here are here's the link um for the resources for last week. And let me that here. Okay, and then the link. Uh, so tonight I wanted to start lesson one. I'm sure you're curious about having an actual conversation. So lesson one will get us kind of moving in that direction. Um, on lesson one. And let me find, let me grab that link. I just had it up. Oh, here it is. All right. So, okay. And then the QR codes are in the um, syllabus, which I need to update the syllabus um, as well so that we're all on track. Um, okay, so we wanted to jump in to lesson one. So let's take a look real quick at the, um, you know, what we have here for what we have going on. All right, where's my, let me share my screen. Hopefully my internet will cooperate um okay can you see okay can you see my screen oh. awesome okay so this is the web page for the help phrases that you all practiced last week. And so now we'll look at, oh, come on. Sorry, press the wrong button. All right. So for lesson one, this focuses on greetings. And so like it says here, this is um, really important to start off a conversation. And so these greetings that we're going to look at, um, they talk about arriving somewhere, meeting someone, and seeing someone. And so we're going to look at the first page, which is questions and statements. And they're all in Kiowa. There's no English translation in the first page. And that's so that we can um, focus on Kiowa first as we're learning. And then um, page two is vocabulary and grammar. Page three is our Kiowa phrase translations. And then we have our conversational practice. 
So we'll see how far we can get. And then there's also a link on here to the um, flashcards on study stack, which are a fun way to kind of review the phrases and see if you can pronounce them and remember what they mean. Um, and you have resources here that are available as well. Um, so let's open up the file. And all right. So we have greetings here. So our, um, this is organized the question and statement and then the appropriate different responses that you could say. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's see, you should see a PDF of the lesson one that says greetings. Is that what you see? I want to make sure I press the right button. Maybe, hopefully. Oh, let's see. Oh, hey, there's Carlo. Hello, welcome. Hey, baby. Um, so let's uh, just kind of quickly uh, recap who we have here in the room with us. For our mentors, we have Miss Marion and Miss Velma. And then for our learners, we have myself, Kathy, uh, Caleb, and Carlo. And um, Angie uh, says she had to jump off. She has a study group she's got to do, and then she'll try to jump back on. Um, okay, so... Uh, we are going to practice saying these phrases um, as part of lesson one to practice using them. Uh, so what we've been doing is we go to page three because um, it kind of breaks it down like phrase by phrase. And then we go through and then we focus on the pronunciation. The middle column here, the literal translation, um, this has like the kind of the word order in Kiowa. And then we have the English free translation, which is like, I guess, basically what it is roughly equivalent to in English. Um, this middle column, the literal translation will help us um, get more familiar with um, thinking in Kiowa. So that's something to keep in mind. So uh, let's see. So we'll see how far we can get today. Um, all right, so is everyone that's on here available to practice saying out loud? Oh. Okay, so let's do our little practice order. So. Let's see. All right. And then. Okay. Oh, hey, there's Angie. Um, Angie, we're going to start practicing for lesson one. Do you want to, uh, are you able to practice? I know you said you had a something else you had going on. Yes, I'm here now. It's just I have to walk to the library during our study hall because it's mandatory. So uh, I'm kind of just like, right now I'm just kind of crouched outside <laughs> waiting for him to open it. Okay, okay. Well, just let me know in the chat if you're not able to. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm good now. Awesome. All right. So it'll go me, Kathy, Carlo, Caleb, and Angie. All right. So uh, let's start. Uh, I'm going to have Miss <laughs> Velma go first. Yeah, I'm taking Ms. a language Marianne. class. So like, I'm, it starts at 6.30 and then I have to come here. Oh, shoot. Dang. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, can you hear me? Oh. OK. Ready? Oh, yep. We'll do the top one. Take it from the top. On day, on day, in time. Uh -huh. 
Miss Marion. Um, Hyundai, Hyundai, and Sun. Hyundai, 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 and Sun. Or Hyundai, Hyundai, and Sun. All right, so, uh, go. Hyundai, Hyundai, and Sun. Kathy? On day, on day, on day, son. Oh, it's always when a member of the Oklahoma City. On day, on day, and son. And there's, there's, uh, there's, how is this going to go? Caleb? On day, on day, son. Do the medallion first. Okay. Uh, and Angie? Right okay. Oh, right on day, aim, aim, son. Too loud. Oh, uh, let's see. Hold on. We got some background noise. Let's see. Miss Velma. Sorry, I'm going to. Oh, OK. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Angie, do you want to try again? Yes. Hyundai Aim, aim Song. Almost. Uh, don't forget this middle part here. So Hyundai Hyundai Aim Song. Hyundai, Hyundai Aim Song. Monday, on day, on day, in sun. Sorry, I'm just like walking with the crowd. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We, we, you can look for the recording. It's all good. Wait until you get settled. Don't want you to uh, get distracted with uh... a. <laughs> May oh, you say it? Over. <laughs> May you say it to me again? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Miss Velma, would you be able to pronounce it for Angie so she can repeat it? Hyundai on day and sun. 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 Good. Perfect. Woohoo. Uh -huh. Thank you. I guess. See? <clears throat> practice makes perfect. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Um, so let's go to the next one, which is just a little bit different. It's it's very similar, but what you're saying is we're adding this oi sound here, which that word means again. So we're going to, you know, this is basically saying wonderful, you came back or wonderful, you're here again. So Let's do the second line, um, Miss Velma. Oh, cool. On day, on day, am oi, son. On day, on day, am oi, son. Ah, ho. Miss Marion? On day, on day, am oi, son. On day, on day, am oi, son. Ah, ho. Ah, uh, cool. Hyundai on day am oi, son. 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 Oh, so the the that sound that sun it's um it's kind of like a T and a S put together and it's it's uh it's a different sound than what there is in English. So we kind of um if you kind of say it um, a whole bunch of times like in front of the mirror or something, you'll get used to hearing yourself say it. But um that took us a while to um. To make sure we're saying the T and the S instead of just the S or instead of just the T. So the difference between San and San. So San, San. Like you want to say San. Kind of spit the T out real quick. That's <laughs> kind of how I do it. <laughs> awesome. 
All right, let's go down the list. We, okay, so let me scroll here. All right, so the next one, is, next phrase is what you would use when you're meeting someone. Um, usually it's like when you meet someone for the first time um, or like if someone's introducing you to someone else. Um, so this is what we would say when we meet someone. So uh, Ms. Velma, uh, cool. Hande on de em cote. Hande on de em cote. Mm -hmm. Aho. Okay. Miss Marion? Hande. Okay. Hande on de em cote. Hande on de em cote. Aho. Anko. On day on day in caught day. 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 On day, on day, almost, almost. So uh, that's that popped K. So it's a <coughs> and then it's a strike through D. So it's a T. So the day, like kind of like a TH, but with a D. On day, on day, and day. That's closer. That's closer. Uh, call. 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 I always tell my students uh, when we're practicing the pop sounds is I'm like, watch out. Don't spit on the person next to you. <laughs> but you got to like pop it real hard. Call. Call. On day, on day, am day. It's so, oh, yeah. Do you hear Miss Velma? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 Hunde on the card day. Yeah, oh. almost, almost. Just uh, so that's one of those uh, to uh, you know just practice. Um, but yeah, those popped, those popped consonants. Those are really difficult to get used to. Um, but you got it. You got it. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, I see uh, Joseph just uh, logged back in. Uh, Joe, did you want to jump in our little rotation here? We're getting ready to go to this uh, fourth line here. Uh, yeah, sure. I can do that. Okay, let me um, add you to the list. Well, my chat would open. Okay. Hey, Solomon. So it'll go um, me, Kathy, Carlo, Caleb, Angie, and Joe. Okay, uh, so this is if you are meeting someone again, which is kind of funny when you think about it, but, um, you know, it happens. Um, so, uh, Ms. Velma? Oh, cool. On day, on day, am I? <coughs> Excuse me, wait. <coughs> My throat. On day, on day, am I? All day. On day, on day, aim, oi, cote. Aho. Miss Marion? Mm. On day, on day, aim, oi, cote. On day, on day, aim, oi, cote. 
Aho. All right. Aho. Hande on day and oi off day. On day, on day, am oi all 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 day. That's okay. That's okay. You got it. You got it. It's 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 just a hard sound to say all day, but just keep practicing. You got it. We all had to practice probably about a thousand times, and we're still practicing. So <laughs> it's okay. Um, as long as as long as you as you keep trying, you know. Is yeah. there like a hack y'all all use or anything? Like I remember when we did like the oi, like dropping our jaw. So like, is there like a way I could get that out more? So I guess, let me, I'll, I'll try to explain. Uh, Cricket is usually really good at like explaining like us because we've had some speech pathologists that have like given us some tips and tricks. Um, also Aunt Carolyn uh, Colley, she's also um, really helpful with that. But for me, it's kind of like, um, it's almost like a clicking sound. Like, you know, when you're clicking to like, I don't know, a horse or an animal or something like kind of like that. Um, well, to say that popped K, it's not like a, it's not a K, like a K sound, like we would think of it. So it's more like, um, hmm, like your tongue is in the back of your throat, like, and it's kind of like you're almost trying to click at something, but you cut yourself short. So. And it's also a jaw dropping. <laughs> oh. Oh. You drop your jaw. Oh. 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 So it's kind of like you, for me, like it, it um, to say the hard K, it kind of like makes me smile. Like. Aw, aw, caw, caw. That's better. That's better. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of like that. That's the hard part. Is there's not really an equivalent in English. Um, Miss Velma, do you have any tricks? <laughs> I'm just trying to think of how to say uh, in the back, like uh, wait, like oh gosh, let's see. It's like it's going up, like on the top part of the roof of your 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 mouth there, but it's you're you're kind of making your the back part kind of squeeze together. So oh, let's see, I'm trying to think of how you. <laughs> that that's good though. I that that helps. It's kind of like a you know if you say the English word catch, catch. But try saying the catch, the sound in front, like really hard. <laughs> That's kind of like, like that. A crack, it's, like, it's like a cracking sound. Oh. A cracking oh. sound, yeah. <laughs> it is hard to describe, like, but um, if you, hopefully. If you, if you try to say it, oh, excuse me, excuse me. If you say Okay, the word for knife is call. Call. And we have that, we have that, what I call a cracking sound in a lot of our common words. Like you say, call day. That's another one. Call, call day. Interesting. When you say call, it's knife. And can he is man. So you got that. There in the front, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -oh, thank you, Miss Marion. Thank you, Miss Velma. Yeah, it is. Um, maybe one of our speech pathologist uh friends can <laughs> help give us some tips, but 
it is kind of like making a clicking sound kind of in the back of your throat. You put your tongue at the top of your mouth, like kind of in the back to. Um, so on that note, uh, let's see. I think we all went, right? We're all, Joe, did you go? I did not. Okay. Uh, okay. On the own day, aim, aim, boy, call day. Oh, boy, call day. And I have a question for any of our other uh, learners here, our candidates. Uh, do any of you have any tips for making those popped K sounds? The Out of curiosity. Melanie. Hyundai. I, I would just, you know, like like I was emphasizing is just, you know, the moly. Because it's it's kind of hard to describe it other than just the words that we use, you know, in our language, but it just takes repetition, you know, and then after a while it just becomes, you know, I would say normal than natural. So yeah, just stay encouraged, just keep on making that, you know, like everybody saying that that. That click that that's that's how I would you know uh just my re recommendation you know because it's like it's entry level and it's kind of I don't want to you know lead you down a wrong direction but just encourage you that you know the more reps you do it with the you know and like just what, what we're going like we're saying home day on day and boy all day just just keep on repeating it even if it's just this one phrase repetitionally then after a while as words progress you identify whenever that cave whenever it pops oh 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 uh -huh. yep that's that's the secret is uh keep pronouncing it um one thing and i don't remember if dane had shared this yet this fall but uh one of the strategies for practicing is called spaced repetition which is, it's that's also um, something that will help you all with when you're going to get credentialed with your recordings that you have to do of yourself. But the spaced repetition, it's basically, so you listen to our recording, right? Where we're pronouncing it, you listen to our mentors, and then you record yourself saying the phrase. And then you pause after you say it, like three seconds. And then you say it again, pause, and then you go to another phrase. So you could also break this down into syllables and record yourself with each syllable or each word, I guess, if you wanted to. But like for spaced repetition, um, for instance, for this one, I would go, all right, I would hit record. On day, on day, aim, oi, aw, day, pause. On day, on day, aim, oi, aw, day, pause. And then stop the recording. And then when I play the recording back, like let's say you're driving or walking to class or something, you would hear yourself say it, even if you're not saying it like, you know, exactly like our mentors say it, you hear yourself saying it and then you say it out loud with your recording during the silence, during the pause. And then you listen to yourself say it and then you say it out loud during the pause. So that way you're actually practicing it four times just by doing that little recording and then listening it back to yourself. Um, so space repetition, it's it's a way to kind of force yourself to repeat it. Um, if you if you want like, you know, accountability or, you know, if you need a way to kind of like motivate yourself. And then if you do those recordings over time, like let's say you do them three times a week, then after two or three weeks, you'll start noticing, you'll hear the difference because you'll notice your own pronunciation getting better. So that's a strategy um, that a lot of uh, second language learners use. Um, and it's actually a strategy, I think Dane found it with some Ojibwe languages, uh, with some of their language learning up, up in the Great Lakes area. So um, it's a pretty cool strategy to kind of practice. So anyway, just, you know, like Carlo said, bye bye. They keep trying. Don't give up. All right. Awesome. Let's go. Okay. So now we're going to switch to 
these phrases on scene. So we have three phrases that have the word uh, see in it. So this we're going to talk about, it's good to see you. All right, so let's do this top one here. Um, and we'll start with Miss Velma again. Uh, on day, on day, and boom. On day, on day, and boom. Uh ho. Miss Marion. And on day, on day, and boom. On day, on day, and boom. Uh ho. Uh ho. On day, on day, and boom. 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 On day, on day, aim. Bone. If you say a bone, just to sound like a a, it means I'm glad you saw me. But if you say honde on day aim bone, it means I'm glad to see you. When you put aim, but if you say a, you're talking about yourself. So what I say, aim? Yeah, aim, aim, ball. On day, on day, aim, boom. Yes, you got oh. it, boom. Right. Okay, boom, you got it. Yay. <laughs> oh, good job. All right, uh, Joe. On their own, they aim bone. Oh, ah ho! All right. So, um, the next one is one that I use a lot, especially with my students, is because you know I'm always seeing them again because we just saw them yesterday. <laughs> um, so this is wonderful. I I again saw you, or I'm glad to see you again. So, Miss Belma. Oh, Tonga honey mboma. Oh, whoops! It's the it's uh. Oh the, oh oh oh! I'm I'm sorry. I jumped. I skipped. Sorry. On day, <laughs> on day, on day, and oi boom. On day, on day, and oi boom. Ah ho, Miss Marion. <laughs> Hyundai on day and oi boom. Hyundai on day and oi boom. Aho. Anko. Hyundai on day and oi boom. Hyundai on day and oi boom. How come uh this one doesn't have the Hyundai on day and oi boom though? What's that? How's that go? This this is what you're saying. You're saying you're telling them like now. Hyundai own day and boy boom. You know I'm glad I saw you again. And but the other is like uh, and boy boom thaw. That's I will see you in the future. Oh okay. Oh, oh. yeah. It's a different uh verb tense. Awesome. Uh, all right. Uh, who is next after Kathy? On day, on day, and oi, bon. On day, on day, and oi, bon. On day, on day, and oi, bon. Uh -huh. On day, on day, and oi, bon. Aho. All right. Awesome. 
Moving right along. Okay, now we're on this one, Miss Velma. <laughs> ah, go. go ahead and uh, tell us how to say that. I'm not sure how that, like, oh, oh, or oh, <laughs> oh, Tonga, honey, Boma. Oh, it's where we got to point our lips. Like, yeah. ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, Tonga, honey, Boma. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Miss Marion? Ooh, Tonga, honey, Boma. Ooh, Tonga, honey, Boma. Ah ho! Oi, Tonga, honey, bon ma. Oi, Tonga, honey, and bon ma. Tonga, Tonga, Tonga. I knew I screwed up. No, you're just fine. <laughs> I, I I messed up on that ooey. Is it ooey or is it just ooh? So it's like saying, uh, say, you know, when you say over there, it's either o i or u i. So it's ooey, ooey, ooey. So ooey. Put your lips. That, okay. Ooey, ooey, ooey. ooey Tonga, hon, aim, bon ma. Last night they upgraded uh, the chest and knees too. Good. Aww. Um, Dang, I need to put my glasses on. Okay, hang on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, did... Uh, who's, who is next? Uh, sorry, I lost where we are. Oh. Caleb? Oh. Ooh, you don't go. Honey, boom. Oi, Tonga Hon, aim, bon ma. Ah, ho. Joe? Sorry, it's a little bit delay. Um, oi, Tong Ga, Han Aim, oi, oh no, Han, sorry, let me repeat that again. Oi, Tong Ga, Han Aim, Bone Ma. Ah, ho. Uh, this one, this phrase, uh, so when my students, this, uh, this lesson one is what I use. This language is for my unit two, when we do greetings and farewells for my, uh, well, for both my classes, but, um, my level one students, this is one of their favorite phrases and it cracks them up because I, I tried to demonstrate cause you know, and then I say, Kaiwas, we say, Ooh, day, Ooh, day, way over there. You got to point your lips. And then uh, when I had them write little cartoons that were talking to characters that were talking to each other, I got a bunch of animals that had long lips talking to each other, <laughs> trying to say, Ooh, Tonga, Han, and Boma. So this is one that um, cracks my students up, but it's also one that they remember. For some reason, they remember this one. Well, that's fun. Oh I'll have to see if I can uh, share some of their little cartoons one of these times because it's cute seeing uh, what they come up with. Um, okay. Let, okay, now, okay, now these are the responses. So um, let's do them two at a time because they're pretty quick. So like the, so basically the reason why there's two different things is there's basically two different, uh, there's a dialectical difference, like, because Kiowa, you know, we have dialects. And so there's a dialect difference in um, responding, but it means the same thing. It's just, you know, people in different parts 
um, of our area said pronounce things differently. So we're gonna hear both and we're gonna pronounce both of these. So uh, Miss Velma, if you could do these two together. Ha, um, al. Ha, um, al. Ha, um, al. Ha, um, al. Aho, Miss Marion. Ho, I'm tired. Ho, I'm tired. Ho, I'm tired. Ho, I'm tired. Aho, ah, co. Ho, I'm tired. Oh, I'm Adel. 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 Ha, I'm all. Ha, I'm all. Ha, I'm all. Ah, ho. Awesome. So, yeah, this is again like uh, what we usually say is if you heard this response growing up. Um, basically say it however you heard it. So, you know, some of our grandmas, grandpas might have said things a little bit differently. So basically just use the the um, dialect that's familiar to you or whichever one you're more comfortable with. So they're both correct. And this means you also, you also, or you too. So we're acknowledging, yes, you too. Um. Okay, so now we're going to go down here. Oh, sorry, my dogs. Sorry, my kids are getting home, so dogs going crazy. Uh, okay, let's do these two responses, which, again, just have that little dialect difference, but they both mean the same thing. So me also, I am glad. Uh, Miss Velma? <clears throat> Not all our own time. 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 Ah, who? Miss Marion? Not all our own time. 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 Aho. Uncle. Not all our own time. No idol at own time. No, no, idol at own time. Not all, not all. No, wait a minute. Not all. Not all at own time. Not all at own time. Not at own time. Not at all. Our own time. Uh, let's see. Uh, was it Caleb's turn? No, it's our own time. No, I don't. Our own time. Oh. 
Not subtle on on Tom. Not idle on on Tom. No auto. No auto a on Tom. Not auto a on Tom. Good. Not all. Not all, all time. Aho and Joe. <laughs> Sorry about that. No all on time. No all on time. Time. Aho. Um, let's see. All right. So uh, these last three. Let's see. We'll do these two right here. Okay. So, uh, whoops, let me. All right. So, Miss Velma, we're going to do the next two. So the me also. Oh, not all. Oh, not all. Ah, who? Miss Marion? Oh, not all. Oh, not all. Oh, not all. Oh, not all. Ah ho. Okay. Ah uh, cool. Ha not at all. 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 Ha, not auto. Ha, not auto. Not ha, not auto. Am I saying the second one okay? I think it's auto, like ladle, but auto. Ha, not idle. Auto. No auto. Yeah, you got it. No auto. Ha, not auto. Oh. Ha, not auto. Ha, not auto. Ha, not auto. Ha, not auto. Um. So let's see a little like a quick thing is um I remember like my grandma would always like whenever she said a Kiowa word like she's talking Kiowa with the L sound in it at the end um she always it always sounded like a D and so whenever I was writing Kiowa phonetically I always wanted to put a D in front of the L but it's um it's actually like uh the L's only happen after vowels and it's really hard to try to say a vowel sound completely without making a D sound when you go into the L sound. Um, so it that's why it sounds like there's a D in there kind of. Um, but some, some Kiowa speakers, it's really pronounced and others, it's a little softer. So it's just again up it's a preference you know kind of what's familiar to you the the Kiowa speakers in your life you know how they pronounce their words um is kind of like a preference of how to say it so for me i always pronounce extra pronounce it because it reminds me of my grandma that was how she talked but um yeah so we're we're moving moving right along through these one more there's no no D sound. Ha. Okay. 
Uh, last one is a word that we've already said, so this should go pretty quickly. Um, and again, you can say this word kind of as a standalone by itself. So, uh, Miss Velma. Oh, on day, on day. On day, on day. Miss Marion. On day, on day. On day, on day. On day, on day. On day, on day. Ah, ho. Ah, co. On day, on day. <clears throat> on day, on day. On day, on day. On day, on day. On day, on day. Paul, let's see who is next. Caleb, did you go? Uh, no. Oh, okay, sorry. The whole day, all day. Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai. And Joe? Hyundai, Hyundai. Aho. Um, let's see. Oh, hey, I, sorry, Judy, I didn't even see you. Just now scroll down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, hey, babe. <laughs> oh. um, let's see. Okay, so we just got done practicing all of our target phrases. So now we're going to try to say them in a conversation. So let's review it really quick. So does anyone remember how to say wonderful you came or wonderful you arrived? One day, one day, I'm son. Oh, how about wonderful you again arrived or came? Hyundai. Uh, let's see. I don't know who was unmuted first. Was that Carlo? Hyundai, Hyundai, and Colte. Almost. It's the same as the first one. You're just adding that uh, the oi in there. Oh. On day, on day, aim oi, son. Oi, son. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's see. How about wonderful to meet you? Who remembers that one? On day, on day, and call day. Oh, aho. Get ag. All right. Uh, how about meet you again? Yeah, on day, on day, and more call day. Oh, aho. Uh, how about wonderful? I saw you. On day, on day, aim on. Oh, on day, on day, aim on. 
Um, how about wonderful, I again saw you. Oh, <laughs> this next one, it's kind of like, uh, it's funny, but it's like a, a trigger to remind us of the Kiowa part. So does anyone remember how to say, there long ago, I have not seen you. Ooh, oh, get I get. <laughs> um okay and then yes you also oh um so and then me also i am glad My father at home, And the last one, me also or me too? Not bad. <laughs> Huh. So, uh, let's see. Um, I just wanted to quickly go over a little trick or a hack, as Angie said, <laughs> um, for remembering the difference because the you also and the me also sound really the same. So if you look at the Kiowa writing here and the English writing here, so the ha am tal or ha am al it starts with the letter a with that a m and um so we're saying yes you also and then the na is kind of closer to the um m in english so that's me also so um no um no so there's just a little thing to try to remember the difference oh okay <laughs> and that was a uh, aunt carolyn that came up with that trick oh. We're gonna try a short conversation. Um, so this one right here. And um, so basically how it goes is we kind of take turns. So if I look at our list right here, uh, we would pair up. Well, we would basically say, we speaker A would be me to start it off. Speaker B would be Kathy because she's next in line. And so I would say the first is for A and then Kathy would say for B. And then it would be Kathy's turn to be A and then Kathy would go to whoever's next on the list, which is Carlo, to be B. And then after they go, then Carlo would be A and then Kayla would be B and then so on. So everyone gets a turn. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so let me, I'm going to, uh, Judy, did you want to jump in on the rotation? Oh. Okay, I'm going to add you at the end here. So uh, me, Kathy, Carlo, Caleb, Angie, Joe, Judy. Do I have everyone? I don't know if that's an even number or not, but... Um, so Judy, when it's your turn, I'll be, when you're A, I'll be B. 
for you. So that way we both get a chance to, to be it. Okay. All right. You can, now you can use your cheat sheets if you want. <laughs> you can have your, um, the little, what is it? Page three available if you want, but, um, it's always fun to try to do it without the little cheat sheet, but if you need to, it's okay. You know, open notes. <laughs> um, okay. So Kathy, uh, co. Onde onde im san. Oh, oh, nice. Onde onde im ah oh, they. Oh, im saddle. I think that's the na ah uh, na saddle ah uh, on top. No, it's at our own talk. Oh, on day on day, aim bomb. No, it's at our own talk. So really, any of the responses are appropriate for these, you know, so we can use any of the responses. But uh, for the Me Too, uh, we would say, ha. Oh, not out or oh no out. Um. Okay. So Kathy, your turn to be speaker A, and then uh, Carlo would be speaker B. So ah, uh, go. Cool. On day on day, aim son. Oh, not out. On day on day, aim oi. Oh, no, on the ink, 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 on Okay, let's see. Where were we? I'm waiting on my reply. Oh, okay. Uh, so if you go up to page three, it's okay. It's open note. You would say one of these right here. Oh, wait. No, you're speaker A. <laughs> wait, what happened? Where? <laughs> I thought I had the... Uh, on day, on day. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Carlos, just you, you, you're on this one, Carlos. The... Yes, me too. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh. No, auto. Get ag. Oh. Oh. On the on the and bone. Wait, wasn't that? Wasn't that this one? I thought that was. I thought you already did that one, Kathy. I don't know. Is it, it Hyundai on the or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This last one. And then, and then you you did it right. So, yay, Obama. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Carlo, now it's your turn to be speaker A, and then Caleb would be your speaker B. You ready? Okay. So. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, uh -uh, go. Okay. It's okay. It's open notes, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, I don't have no notes. I'm just I, I'm about I'm about oh. to open up the gym here at eight. So uh oh, okay. Here I'm, I've been, you know, just I'll uh, go up. in my in my office. So uh, right but, here, this first one right here. Okay. On the on the end time. Oh, I'm out.
That's the one that's highlighted. On the on the and call there. No, I don't know. Oh, time. And then this one. On the on the and phone. What am I supposed to say? Oh. Which is the oh, I gotta go fever. Oh. Okay, that's fine, Kathy. Thank you. Aho. It's uh this one right here, one of these two. Um I know you're your, I can't see your screen. Oh, let's see. What am I what do you say? Oh, right here. Uh he said on day on day and bon. See so you right here. Oh, oh That's... no. I, I think that was my computer missing. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, Omaha. Yay. All right. So, Caleb, now it's your turn to be speaker A. And then, Angie, you would be speaker B. You ready? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Caleb. On day, on day, time. Oh, it's a little dog. I think I think you would uh I think you were trying to say ha um saddle. Ha um saddle. On the on the car. Not say it all on time. I tried to be saying that. Oh, not idle our own tongue. Or not idle our own tongue. The hundred on day and boom. Y'all gotta turn this one. Oh, not saddle. Oh, not saddle. Hey, where are you going? Um, I. Oh, you got it. Day on day. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Angie, are you able to be speaker A or do you want us to come back to you? I'll probably come back. I have to head back to my dorm. Okay. Oh. I'll be right back though. Okay. We're, we'll be here. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so, Joe, would you like to be speaker A and uh, Judy, be speaker B. Sure. Go ahead. Let the talk. Hall. <clears throat> Hall. On the own day, aim son. Oh, aim son. Um, wonderful. <clears throat> on day on day aim call day. whenever you get those try to get at least maybe two or three pads see I, I used to do that about 20 years ago when I was in high school so you see that you see that uh, elbow yeah, that's, that's noise. From sorry Carlos, Mike's on. <laughs> <laughs> okay there we go sorry about that <laughs> uh, on day on day aim call day no, nah, saddle. I own time. On day, on day, and boom. Ah, not saddle. Ah. Oh, oh wow. Woohoo. Uh, let's see. Joe, you weren't able to be speaker B yet. Is that right? 
Correct. Okay. Uh, Judy, do you want to switch? Oh. Okay. Ah, go. Ande, ande, I'm fine. Joe, speaker B. Sorry, I thought I had my mic on. Um, hall, um, saddle, hall. I'm all. Ande, ande, I'm kate. Oh, oh wait, no. No, yeah, no, yeah. Not all. Ah, on time. Not all. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'm just... sorry. Go ahead. Uh, not all. Ah, on. Time. Okay. Yeah. Good. Ah, on the on the end. Oh, not all, or oh, not all. Overhaul. Oh, oh. Overhaul. I think we did it. So let's ask our mentors. Uh, Miss Velma, Miss Marion, how would we do? You did good. Oh, <laughs> uh good work, it everyone. Went. Go ahead, Miss Marion. Sorry. Day, oh, day. On day, on day, on day. But they need work on the call. Like call oh. day, not call day, not call day. Call is another word for another item. So, call day. Just a little tiny thing, but it can turn into a big thing if you speak to a really oh. fluent boy goo. Call. 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 Appreciate that. Good work, everyone. Um, let's see. So I wanted to, we got through our lesson, so we'll just kind of keep practicing throughout the week. Read it to your, your pets, your dogs, your cats, your friends, whoever. Uh, do Practice the space recordings and keep um, saying it over and over. Um, but I wanted to open it up and just see if any of you have questions for any of our mentors here. Um, if you have questions, you know, just anything that's been on your mind, maybe there's a translation or something that you are looking for or resources, just open it up and uh, whatever questions um, anyone I'll, have. I'll take, I'll, oh, uh, uh, Melody, excuse me. I'll, I'll take a question if anybody's got one for me because like, I have to go cook my dinner. Oh. Is there a question for me? If not, gotta go. Yeah, I'll ask. Some ask one. Be the happy. happy. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Caleb. On a no, our own time. Is do you ever hear that with a doll at the end of it, or how come it doesn't have a doll at the end? I own no, I la own time. Dog, you said. I own time, dog. Well, I mean, time, it's almost the same. But, uh, right. own time, dog. So, it's just, it's just an adding an extra word there. Oh, no, I la own time. No, time, dog. It just kind of gives it more emphasis. Oh. I've seen that before, and it said if you're saying you're very happy, and it was on the end. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. I've heard him say that too. Oh, time, time. He says, I just feel extra happy. You, oh, you, like you hear that? Really, see, 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 see. 
Okay. You hear that? You hear that a lot in the the song, the songs, the Kiowa songs, the hymns, and um, ceremonial songs. So I own kind of. So so basically the. You could say it both ways, but when we say da, then we're emphasizing it. Like that. Hey. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey there. This extra, this really happy emphasis. Oh. Aho, Miss Marion. I know hey, you have no. to go cook your dinner. Aho, appreciate uh, your help. Oh, hey, guy, I'm oi, don't All right. I know over there, Miss Marion, she calls us every week from uh, Washington, D.C. area. So she's on Eastern time. So it's late over there. <laughs> uh, so that was a good question. Did that help, Caleb? Oh. Awesome. So just, uh, oh, I saw uh, Angie's back. So uh, we're just opening up time for all of any of you to ask questions of our mentors, any of each other, anything that's been on your mind, anything we can maybe help you with. It's, it's your time. Conde, I'm sorry, the Melody. Conde. With um, anything new, any news or anything that I may need to know, you know, I was out last week traveling and the week before and the week before. So I'm trying to catch up. Oh, um, well, last week I was also traveling. So Cricket facilitated. They did the help phrases last week. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, I was in Arizona, Gila River Indian community doing uh we had to facilitate a training all week over oh. there. Um, so that was, it was fun, but my time mm -hmm. zones got all crazy. Uh, so I don't know if, uh, anyone or Miss Velma, do you know if there are any updates that were shared over the past couple of weeks that maybe we might've missed? Not to put you on the spot, but <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I'm I'm not sure. I think uh, wasn't um, the credentialing board uh, gonna meet and talk about maybe when a next in person credentialing would be? Well, we were supposed to try and meet with uh, the director and uh, some of the the the. Uh, uh, administrators like for the departments, but it, I don't know what uh, they were just they. I, I was just told that we're rescheduling it, and I have no idea when. So, just trying to see if there's a way we could have our own department instead of being under the education department. Ah, so that that's all the information I have, and Dane knows all that. <laughs> oh. I'm just uh, repeating what he he to less so that's about it awesome thank you miss mama so well, is it uh who's is it caleb or uh carlos that's teaching at lawton i carlo Carlo, is he still on? Um, I think he's Carlo. Coach, but Carlo, are you available real quick? He said he had a uh, he had to open the gym, so he might be oh, having oh. basketball practice. I was just wondering how how he's doing there at Lawton. Let's see, do you know? Have you heard how the others are doing? Um, well, not in the past couple of weeks. I, I do know that um, Tim, uh, Tim Yegu, he, he teaches at Riverside and he mentioned uh, yesterday that he's been trying some of the activity ideas that we've been talking about on our Tuesdays. 
Uh, so he's got a lot of students that are really interested and he found that um, he started telling them how to introduce themselves and they got really excited about it. So he's going to do more kind of how we do in our sessions with the conversations. Tim okay. said he wants to try more of that with his students there at Riverside. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's what I heard from Tim uh, yesterday. And then Courtney was also on, you know, she teaches, uh, oh gosh, I always forget the title of her class, but it's like a Native American art and history class. And uh, she said that they were um, uh, kind of just getting things started. They're pretty busy with beginning of the year stuff. That's what I've heard so far. Could I possibly do the part A? Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't even realize that uh, you didn't get a chance to do the A. Yes, uh, let me share my screen again. Uh, would anyone like to uh, help Angie out with being the part B for her? <clears throat> I can. Aho. Uh -oh. Okay, so Angie, you'll be asking, you'll be telling Joe. So uh, Angie will be A here. So, all right, whenever you're ready. Honda on the ain't song. Sorry about that. Oh. Um, saddle. Honda on the in Kote. 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 Honda on the in Kote. Kote. No saddle. A on time. On the on the bomb. Oh, not idle. Or I'm idle. You're right I'm, the first time. <laughs> oh, right the first time. I, oh. oh, not idle or no idle. Oh. That's where that no comes in. No idle. Oh. oh. Yay, Omaha. You did it. You got this. <laughs> very good, very good. Yes, uh, yeah. All right. Any other questions from anyone? Was that was that Joseph? Uh huh. Oh. Well, you sound like you sound like Ramon. <laughs> Melody? Yeah, I've been told. <laughs> Hyundai. Carlo? Hey, yeah. I just uh, uh, got a quick question before I take off. I got to do a gym session. Uh, so oh. on your um, hey, uh, awesome class tonight, I appreciate everybody. Um, they pay, they, but uh, uh, I was going to ask about the, uh, on your, on your uh, webpage and underneath the resource, you know what I'm talking about? So uh, the, um, I believe it's the conversational uh, Kiowa, uh, conversational Kiowa topics. Uh huh. Um, on on mine, I can't I can't get it to play on the audio to reference you know the uh, to define the 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 meaning. But if you get time, can you send that send that link to me again by email? Maybe it's something on my end that's messing up on the uh, software part. Oh, uh, let's see. Which lesson was it? The um, on the homepage or is that you said under resources? Let's see. I think it was in any resources. Uh, let's see. I think it was. Was it in um this list here? Can you see my screen? Uh, yeah, I can see it. It might have been. Let me see. 
I can I I I found it. I was I was looking at it earlier today, and I, you know, I'm away from my computer, so I can't I can't you know, have where where it's at. But I thought it might have been underneath resources. I could be wrong, but um, I know that it's that it's recorded though, and it gives you oh. the, the point and the uh, audio. I can't get oh, it. Oh, are you talking about the help phrases? I think. Yeah, the uh, help phrases. Yeah, on the conversational. Okay. Yeah. Let me. Uh, so let's see. So you're talking about here, um, help phrases, and then down here. Yeah, to your right, you just passed. It. So you want to download uh this the one that says with audio. Okay. Um, because there's two of them that are on here. The yeah. first one is just a PDF. Yeah, so, it's in a PDF. Uh, then I went to download. Uh, the second one it should download as a PowerPoint. Let me try it. So I'm downloading. Let's see. And then download again because it tries to pop it up in a um, browser window. And let's see. Oh, so download it twice? Yeah, because it looks like it'll it'll try to because if you're doing it on your computer or in your phone, it'll open it up in a browser instead of downloading the actual PowerPoint file. So oh, okay. you have to press download again. And All then right. once you get it on your computer, or maybe you have it on your phone, I don't know, but uh, on the computer. It has to be the PowerPoint file and because that's what Dane uses to record. And then you should be able to here, let okay. me uh, sorry, I thought I was sharing my screen, but let me show show you so here's what it um what it looks like in the powerpoint and so if you go down here each of these you'll be able to play oh um oh i didn't i didn't share the audio sorry i know i'm supposed to press some buttons here so anyway um but yeah but yeah you should be able to click on it oh. and then oh okay so, but yeah, download it twice and you want the PowerPoint file version and that, that'll be the one, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Let me know. Was, yeah, that's what I was on. So yeah, download it twice. Okay, I got you. All right. Yay. All right. Bye. Awesome. Good okay. luck. Oh, oh, they own that. Awesome. Hey, there's Grandma Martha. Grandma Oguk Oma. I'm hey, babe. <laughs> um, so uh, just to catch you up, um, Grandma, we were uh, we went over lesson one, which is on the greetings. Um, well, now I where'd it go? Which is uh, this one right here on the greetings. So we went over all these and we practiced and then we um, had uh, Miss Velma and Miss Marion um, kind of lead us in pronouncing. And then we even did a conversation. So we did this one right here, this kind of short one. So that's what we did tonight. And uh, one question that we had was um, if anyone had any updates um, so a couple of us were out the past couple of weeks. So just wanted to see if any of our mentors have any updates for us or things we should be aware of, things we should know, um, or any updates from the credentialing board. And Ms. Velma shared what she she knew. So don't know if you have anything to add, uh, but um, yeah. Velma well, uh, updated you, you probably had the latest thing, so. <clears throat> I know that on the 18th, we're supposed to have a meeting with the language director. And so we're getting ready for that. And then after that, we'll see how we can schedule with the tribe. So, and then Dane has all the schedules for, you know, the people that are getting credential. He usually have that information. But that's all I have. <laughs> oh, aho. What was that date, Martha, September 18th? Yes, that's okay. a meeting with the director. Okay. Yeah, that's a couple weeks short. Awesome. Good to know. Uh, let's see. Any other questions from anyone? 
Um, I know um, some of our new candidates might have uh, questions for our mentors. So I wanted to have some time available in case people had uh, more questions. So. I do, but it's regarding a resource. So I remember in the first session we had, you talked about the resources. There was this one site that had Kiowa flashcards. Paul. I can't remember what it was. Yes. So let me share my screen. Um, it is called Study Stack, and it's one of our favorite sites. Um, so let's let me um, try to. Oops. Try to figure out what I'm doing here. Well, I keep pressing the wrong button. <clears throat> Sorry, let me go to a web browser. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, if we go to, so for instance, um, if you want to look at the flashcards for this session, um, you can go to Learn Kiowa and go to uh, lesson one. And it's, if you click on this link, it takes you directly to the cards. So this is a good way to, I wouldn't recommend using this little audio because <laughs> It'll read it in English and like it'll pronounce it in English. So it sounds really funny because it doesn't talk Kiowa. The computer doesn't talk Kiowa, but anyway. Um, but it is a way for you to kind of remember, try to remember how to respond to these. So basically you would, you would uh, say this out loud and then you would try to remember how do you respond to this? And then there's your responses that you can say. Um, and then if you know it, then you go to the next one. There's all your responses that you could say. Um, and so on. So, but uh, the link is, it's linked on the website and I'll also put it in the chat. Um, and if you're really like, you really want to do, um, do more with these flashcards on study stack, uh, one way to find the Kiowa language materials is go to studystack.com and then type in uh, D for Dane and then Pula and hit enter. And it goes to all of the ones that Dane's ever uploaded. And they're all sort, there's a lot of, lot of them. Um, but uh, there's even, there's one for help phrases. So you can practice your help phrases. Um, so, and I believe that one is linked on the, um, it's linked on the Learn Kiowa website. So that um, is a quick, quick overview of how to get to those. Hopefully that makes sense. Yes, thank you. Good question. <clears throat> All right. Any other questions? Well, if there's no other questions, we can log off. Oh, yes. Raised hand. Uh, Joe. I have a question for you. Um, since... Okay. Starting the Wednesday Zoom sessions for the primary candidates of this 2024 cohort. Um, have have y'all been following along with the website lesson plan, the level two, lesson one? Or was there a previous, um, I guess, study session or work session that y'all went over previously? If that makes sense. For me? Like questions yeah. for the new yeah. candidates? This, this is a question for you. Um, since, mm -hmm. since teaching the new primary candidates, mm -hmm. um, the question is, I don't think I as hopped on the first three Zoom sessions. 
I think since right. they begun. Um, so essentially my question is with the lessons that we kind of went over today for those previous beginning sessions, Zoom sessions, um, following along what was on what's on the website, like the lesson layout. Oh, good question. So uh, basically, if you go to uh, to look at the recordings um, okay. from those sessions, uh, let's see, I tried to follow the syllabus. So the first session was like, kind of like getting to know you, like people did introductions. We had everyone introduce themselves, like just, you know, tell our mentors who they were. Um, we kind of did that for the first couple sessions um, so that our mentors can kind of get used to our candidates' voices. And then um, we kind of did some questions and answer type things. And then we started the sounds of Kiowa. So those first two sessions, um, well, even the one uh, from July 31st and then August 7th and then so on, um, those will populate automatically on the homepage of the website. Um, but you can also go to the YouTube channel, uh, Learn Kiowa, and um, they'll populate like as soon as I post them. Um, but yeah, so basically we did the sounds and we um, there's a handout that we referenced. And so you'll see uh, that handout. It's um, it's the one that's available if you do the QR code on, because uh, it's actually part of the credentialing um, materials and it's not posted on the website currently, but it's the sound, the Sounds of Kiowa handout that we actually, as a new, as a candidate for level one, you would actually have to record yourself saying all those sounds um, in order to get credentialed. So that was the first thing we went over was, and it took us a few sessions. Okay. So um, if a packet, that QR code was given to the primary candidates, um, I don't think any of the secondary candidates got anything um, because we kind of been left out of the loop, so to speak. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm yeah. left out of the loop too. So I don't, I just facilitate the Wednesday sessions and oh. I teach Kiowa in my high school class. So I no, yeah, no don't problem. really, so I just try to make things available, you know? So um, let me, so the syllabus, I did send it out with the reminder emails. Okay. Um, well, let me, let me look through those first. Um, and it's a Google, it's like a Google drive doc. But uh, the problem is, even though I put everyone with a link should be able to access it, it, um, I don't know, like I need to add all of your emails to the Google Drive. So uh, basically, it's not the program. Yeah, this is where it gets kind of complicated. Yeah, no, no problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> so a long time ago, when we, like back in 2013, 2014, I started a Google Drive for my Kiowa language teachers at my childcare center at the Kiowa Child Care Center um, to access our documents for our lesson plans. And that was a long time ago. It was called Kiowa Language Resources. And then when we got this ANA grant and we started doing the KLCRP program, um, we needed a Google Drive. So we started using that same folder and we just added more folders in it. And then eventually the KLCRP, when they got their own program, they started their own Google Drive. So then like the two Google Drives were both still available and they're cross-linked. Um, but I have uh, people that are on the Kiowa Language Resources Google Drive that have joined the sessions like, I don't know, for, for since like 2017. Um, and it's basically anyone who's interested in learning Kiowa, there's all the resources available. Um, it, we I just ask that no one, like if you're going to download a resource, just try not to delete it because a lot of that's like where all of our community resources live. Um, so the program, I think the Kiowa Language Department has their own Google Drive, which I think was based off of the KLCRP Google Drive, um, but I don't have access to that. I just have access to my teacher candidate folder where I uploaded my lesson plans in when I first got credentialed. Um, so uh, 
it's it's kind of one of those things, um, but you can have all the access you want to anything that I have available. My philosophy is just, I want, if you want to learn Kiowa, I'm going to give you whatever I have that has helped me along the way that people have given me that I just want to make it available. Um, so <laughs> let me, uh, I can make, I can test a link. Let me just see if you can access. Okay, yeah, uh, no. And um, I'll, I'll try not to take, I know we got three minutes left. Um... I guess like essentially like partially from if it's possible um whatever it is that like the the primary candidates are doing this the um, credentialing group I think there's like five I believe mm -hmm. um if I could be part of that like email thread or whatever that'd be great um just in case the primaries ends up not being able to fulfill the requirements and at least the secondaries at least up to speed and everything. But that, that's essentially what I was trying to get at, but appreciate it very much. Yeah, Um. so I don't know about any of the candidate emails. I think those go out from the program, but uh, I send out the Wednesday session. So anything related to like Wednesday and Tuesday, I'll send out. As okay. long as you're getting my emails, you're getting everything that I know. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Um, and if I hear of, like, if I have a chance to talk with, um, the program, I can, you know, just kind of pass that along, um, that way, you know, I don't know if they have a listserv or not, but, um, yeah, I, I totally hear that. Cause I, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause, um, I mean, not, not to, I know I briefly talked to Chelsea, um, and everything, um, but, and, and like, like you said, you're kind of both separate and everything they do one thing and you do another but um they've kind of just been secondary's kind of just been left in the dirt so to speak mm -hmm. and not really yeah. anyways that's how i felt i'm just nothing against her personally i'm not trying to start anything but anyways <laughs> in short yeah but anyways uh nonetheless i'll look through those um those emails and try to find that link that and everything just to that Google Drive that you have. So yeah, so I just put the um link uh to this Google Drive in the chat. Uh, yes. If you are able to access it, let me know. Um. Yeah, I'm able to access it. I'm looking. Okay, at it right. good. I I tried to make it like public, and I can also, if I remember, I gotta remember to go and add all of everyone's emails. Um, everyone who's on my email, I periodically we'll do updates but this is where so like basically when dane sends something to me and it's like hey here's something that is interesting um dane and i have different folders in here you can see andrew mckenzie has folders in here a lot of kiowa uh, language you know learners and just kiowa language advocates in general uh, dr meadows has stuff in here there's stuff i mean there's stuff in here from like Atwater Onco, we have notes from him. Um, the Kiowa Ethnobotany. I mean, it's it's like the Kiowa Culture Program Inventory. You have lots and lots of resources. You can get lost in this. Like I said, we've been creating this since like 2013. Um, and there's different folders in it. Uh, but like I said, we just ask uh, whatever, you know, you're welcome to any of it. Um, just try not to actually delete it or if you make a copy of it, but just don't move it to anywhere else. Cause I know it's really easy to lose things. So sometimes like I'll have to go and hunt down things. Cause I'm like, where'd it go? I knew it was in here, but uh, anyway, it's a resource, you know, it's just another, like we did a lot of work on the Kiowa hymns. Um, so yeah, feel free uh, for that syllabus. Um, if you go to fall 2024 under the learn Kiowa folder, it's um right here and i'm actually gonna uh let's see if i can copy this link um yeah so i'll copy this link uh this is what we're working with i have to revise it because i know we're a little bit off schedule uh but that's okay we're you know we're getting through it um one thing you guys might find interesting is this kiowa projects folder this is where we've kept uh, our files from different outreaches that we've had over the years. You can see uh, we have files from like when we worked with Anadarko High School in 2021. We did an outreach on um, Kiowa um, 
like a uh, movement, uh, like camp history and things. And actually the PowerPoint is not in here. So I need to find out where the PowerPoint went. So I got to download it and put it back. But um, I also got permission from Uncle Iron Topa a um, long time ago to take pictures of all his models from the museum. So I like to use these um, in making children's books, um, which are just like really cool. Like, and he explained, you know, like our Kiowa painted teepees, just different, the way that Kiowa's camp. Um, and these are like priceless things that, and we did a whole outreach that we um, dedicated to him uh, one year, but um, there's just, you know, a lot of, a lot of things in here that, oh, that's a picture you got to download. There's articles. I mean, there's a lot of resources. So um, if you have, you know, questions about any of these resources, Ask me, ask Dane, because uh, we're, you know, both familiar with a lot of these things in here, but there's a lot of topics that we covered. So, and and all of these outreaches, they are also on YouTube. They're also available as a YouTube recording. So if you're looking for that topic, chances are you can type it into YouTube and it'll pop up um, okay. as a recording. So, but yeah, that's a great question. and. I will double check, make sure everyone that's getting my emails is also have access to this Google Drive, which is where, you know, everything is kind of kept as far as resources. Um, okay. All right. Well, I'll make sure to take a look through that. And uh, I appreciate it very much. Oh, and keep keep at it. They, they, they keep trying, keep coming back. <laughs> oh, will do. do. It took best. me uh, five years as a candidate to get credentialed. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, keep, keep. Keep at it. Will do. Thank you. Good questions. Uh, appreciate it, everyone. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we should wrap up because I know it's getting late. Um, let's see. Um, Miss Velma, are you able to close us up? Okay. Oh, oh. Look at the doggy, dog. I beg your doggy. A moy dog eat a rape dog. They own game dog a dog. Go, go, they do do. The other pain I hate to get taints or dog. Go, I get gone by dog. Give you dog or dog. Hold dog, they own the, they own the, they'll tie do go to Tado. They go take key that for dog. Can you a hoe? Well, they own they get oil taint, taints or um, yeah, go, go, I don't get. Eight more I'm a, I'm bado. I got it. Oh, I got it. Uh, go it down to get dodge dog. Um, sand or a dog. Eight more hame dog dog. He am bado dog. They who a tape go. Go betado dog. Hold dog a dolly on. Uh, big boy, they talk. I come by dog. So they go all big dad over there. Oh, big good dog. I get to get Sunday to I'm big dog. Those who are homeless, Lord, pray that you would bless them, protect them, Lord. Sad or a dog, a beat or a dog, big dad or the dog. And bless each individual who's participating in these sessions. Bless them. With success, those who are teaching the Archival language, just be with them and guide them and um, just bless them so they would uh, continue to be motivated to teach our language to our children and just uh, just guide them in, in whatever they, that they might uh, be able to uh, um, use the curriculum and resources that are available for them and just take care of them. Bless each individual uh, relatives Thank you for Melody, Lord, that she, she provides these uh, sessions for us. And just bless her and her family, Lord. May she be very successful in her teaching, Lord. And we're so thankful that you have blessed us with her. Bless her family, talking. Bless Martha and uh, Marion, Dorothy. Just, just be with all of us and just help us, Lord, to live according to thy will, Heavenly Father. And we're so thankful for the many uh, blessings and gifts that you've bestowed upon us, Doc. And thankful, Lord, 
for those of us who grew up with our grandparents Lord, and our parents that spoke Taiwan, we're, we're able to, uh, we've, we've kept our language. I'm so thankful and grateful, Heavenly Father. Okay, God, just bless each person here tonight. Amen. Oh. 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 Awesome. Appreciate everyone taking the time this evening. Great work. And we'll see everyone next time on Wednesday and on Tuesday if you're interested. So um Hega ba oi bon ta. Hega ba oi don ta Have a good evening.